Okay. <clears throat> Do, do, do. Okay, great. It's going to be another one of these. <clears throat> Me just looking for this stupid salesman. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. Oh, it's one of these guys. Corrupted. Find a corruption. Sweet. That's something you don't see every day. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be looking for the snails one. Or where you might be. Check the other side really quick. <coughs> I'm so tired. So I just a quick one tonight. I just did like two videos like yesterday that were like an hour long. Well, one was an hour, the other one was like a half hour. <clears throat> so. I'm just trying to figure out where this guy actually went. Probably in the violence. Susan not over here. Check the forest as well.
Okay, not over there. So we'll check the outer side. <clears throat> and if he's not on that side of the force, then uh, he's probably on like tundra or something. Tundra or desert. I swear if that thing kills me. Good. Hmm. What is that? Oh no, that's a player. It's just he has a mount. I forgot they added those. That might be a recent update. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't seen one of those. Is it Game Pass? Um, I doubt it's cosmetics. No. Um, let me just look at this. I don't know actually how to get them out. Was this like a rare drop? That's probably what it is. Pulling a Terraria reference right there. Pulling a Terraria reference. Pulling a Terraria right there. Terraria, uh, pretty much the mounts are like the rarest items. Sometimes. Speaking of Terraria, I definitely should bring back uh, Calamity since now uh, my screen recorder actually wants to cooperate with me and actually record the videos. I don't know, maybe we'll do Calamity tomorrow. We'll see. I haven't touched that game in so long. About a month now. Since uh, my past episode, as well as the collab with uh, like two of my other friends. <clears throat> we haven't touched that game in a while. We've made it to hard mode, and then we haven't gotten past that. I have everything recorded, uh, I just need to edit the crap out of it. Because all of the recordings are at least an hour long. And I don't want to upload like a full hour of like just us just standing at our base or something. So I'll just cut it down to like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, a majority of the, of the videos that we do, it's, it's just us just sitting at base. Just talking about some random crap. So. Alright, I don't think he's over here, but I can check. Nope. Okay, next spot. Majus.
And we need to check both sides of the desert. I will check everywhere for this guy. You know, I'm gonna say it again, I really wish there was like a specific spot that he would spawn like each day. <clears throat> just so players don't have to do this crap every time. I'm just chilling around on the whole map just looking for this guy. I have like two videos dedicated just looking for this dude. Because it just spawns in so many locations. I'm gonna die if I do that. Yeah, if I go in the desert with this health, I'm gonna die. Forgot I had these. Throwable healing potions. I actually need those. Okay, there we go. Now I have a, a little bit of health. It's not much, but it's something. Okay, didn't spawn there. Let's check the other side of the desert. The far side. And if he's not over there, then he's gotta be in the tundra. Or hair lair. There's only a certain amount of spots that he can spawn. <clears throat> so let me just check the the uh, far side of the desert without dying, preferably. Unfortunately, that's probably gonna happen, and I'm gonna have to sit sit still for like two minutes. Just for the game to let me teleport again. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. They need to get rid of this cooldown. <clears throat> it's called it's something called convenient. I see nothing uh, I I see no issue of of just removing the timer on that thing. Yeah, he's not over there. Okay. I just lost a boatload of money right there, like 600. All right. Well, actually not 600, it was about 400, but still. All right, now we need to wait. Yep. You know, wait for this timer to wear off just to just for the game to let me teleport again. <clears throat> I'm not walking all the way to the tundra. That takes forever. That would literally take me like ten minutes to get over there. It's on the far side it's like on the far like south side of the map. <coughs> so Tomorrow will be a couple videos, uh, possibly Blaze Glazed will be one of them. I'll do uh, Poke Emblem and Terrier Calamity, I think will probably be the videos for tomorrow. And then as for this game, I'm going to wait, wait until they add more content. <coughs> so... One update is what I'm hoping is a new dungeon or like a new area to explore or something. Like an actual like content update and not just like bug fixes, but you know, no rush. <coughs> I am patiently waiting for these updates. Well, because I want them to be good. Also, uh, there was a game on Roblox that, that released like a while ago, it's actually, well, yeah, Tales of Tenoria. And they, they delayed it for like a while, uh, like, eh, like a week or something like that, just to get uh, all the bugs fixed. 
They launch the game and it's a buggy mess. It's like legit nigh unplayable. That's how hard it is to play that game right now. And I'm like, you guys, what the heck were you doing? That, that game has been in development for years. In what world did it, it, it... There's no excuse for the game to be in a buggy mess like that. Lumion Legacy was had less time. <laughs> you have a full-on team. Lumion Legacy had like a, only a few people. Yeah, they, they have a team, I, I think, like, eight or nine. Lumion Legacy had, like, three. So, absolutely no excuse. Game doesn't even look that good. It looks comparable to, to Doodle World in terms of the graphics. I've seen what the game looks like. It's good, but it's not, like, multiple years good. <clears throat> Yeah. And they were like, we don't want to disappoint our community and all that stuff. And I'm like, then don't give us a release date. Simple as that. Then just don't give us a release date. And just keep working on the game. Just so we don't get our hopes up. Oh, for it to get broken, like, straight after. Like, dude... <laughs> ridiculous you know if I was making a Roblox game dude I I would communicate with my you know with my community or whatever but I would develop the crap out of the game first off second the updates will be frequent if like if I get the game done the updates will be extremely frequent probably like once a week about the same as uh, Doodle World if I made a video game on this, I would for sure make the updates frequent. Of course. Maybe at like uh, like the first point of uh, of development, I may even make the updates daily, just to make sure that the game is is good, like fresh and new, and then like dial back the the updates to like once a week. I do need a team in order to do that though, because I have basically no experience. So <clears throat> I just need like I need someone to you know teach me how to do it. Like watching a video is not going to help me. I need someone to physically tell me how to how to use that thing. Watching a video is not going to help. Oh, there he is. Uh, sticky, sticky, honey steel. Okay, yeah, he's got the basics. It's a cool armor set, but I don't need it. I'm glad I found him. <coughs> Gotta wait a year to teleport again. Gosh, dude. I guess we'll do the frog dungeon really quick. Why not? I'll go do that just real quick and then we'll end it off. It'll just be a short one tonight because I'm dead tired. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just say, I'm one of the only YouTubers that still play this game. <laughs> Not a lot of YouTubers play this game now. So, like, I've actually looked at, like, uh, you know, 
actual like YouTubers play this game or whatever, and not a lot, not a lot are left. So I still update this. Well, not update this game. I still record this game rather frequently. Well. And I do say rather frequently because there's like really nothing to do right now. So besides just train, yeah. Besides just level up, there's not really much to do. There's no unique enemies right now, and there's no events going on right now. So <coughs> it's kind of just the same old, same old right now. But yeah. Uh. Let me just unequip this speed armor, go with uh, the hex armor. I still gotta put it on difficulty zero because I suck right now. Hard to believe that I'm nearing over 20 levels above this dungeon and I still can't get past difficulty zero. Well, well difficulty one. <clears throat> like, I have an extremely hard time even getting past like wave like five. Yeah, on difficulty one. I do I can't even get the farthest I've gotten is like six or seven. I don't know right now. Like I struggle just so hard just trying to get past the, the dungeon. And the boss would probably one shot me. Basically doing this just for money and e EXP, because you get a lot of e EXP from this, so. It's not that late right now, but I still need to get to bed. Although I am able to sleep in, I don't have work tomorrow. I don't have, the, I don't have work for the next three days, so sweet. So I have tons of time to record and stuff like that. I'm going to say it again. Uh, feel free to call up with me on uh, Geometry Dash. Yeah, on like a level or something. Like we just make a, like... We get like a bunch of people and we just make our parts. And stuff like that. I'd love to join that, just just send me a friend request or something on uh, Geometry Dash and I'll, I'll for sure uh, join the collab. And I'll, I will try my very hardest to, you know, make something cool. M uh, my gameplay is going to be no problem, it's the deco that's going to be the problem <clears throat> with my part. Although I've I got this in my mind, if the part is good to play, I don't really care how the the part looks. As long as the the part's good, it feels great to play. Then I have no problem with how the part looks. <coughs> I'm very very picky when it comes to gameplay, so. That's why you see me consciously bash the uh, the duel on Broken Game Boy. It, it sucks. I'm sorry, but that duel sucks. It plays like crap. I don't care if the part looks good. It plays like garbage.
Like, it, it, if, if a part plays like crap, but it looks good, it's a bad part in my book. So, and I'm, I'm very sure people can agree with that. In fact, I know a, f a few, uh, a few G GD players that uh, say the exact same thing. Like, they don't care about the, the deco, or like how the level looks, it's how the level plays. <clears throat> right now, the the, the uh, level's a buggy mess, I can't even get to the to the duel. It's, it's completely bugged by uh, one of the transitions. Yeah, by the transition into the duel, it's completely bugged, I can't get past that. No matter what I do, I can't get past that, I don't know what's going on with that, but it needs a bug fix. Yeah, the level needs a bug fix. Like, add like another platform or something, because you you can't get past it. Yeah, it's it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible right now. Like, did you see how many times I died at the same part, and I did it the same way? And I know it's a bug, otherwise I wouldn't have glitched out of the map. Or glitched out of the level. <coughs> but it wasn't a bug that wouldn't have happened. So yeah. <clears throat> I'm surprised that reached right there. We're not even at round 10, goodness gracious, I'm getting tired. I almost knocked over my microphone there. Can't wait a second, jeez. They already mentioned it in one of my videos, but there was uh, 20 ways. Uh, the B dungeon, there is like three floors. So. The B dungeon's ridiculously easy until you get to that boss. Even the boss isn't really that hard. To be honest, I find the frog one harder than the, uh, the Queen Bee boss. I actually find this one a little bit more difficult. I don't know why. He, he probably just because he has like a more varied uh, attack pattern. Yeah, this guy's got quite a quite a few attacks. In my opinion, he actually hits a little bit harder too. Well, because you're weakened after all of the uh, all twenty ways, you're weakened after all that. So, well, with uh, the B dungeon. You just gotta get lucky. Like you, you can have the 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 uh, literally the 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 hole or whatever could be like the next room or could be like the room next to you for like the next like three moves, uh, the next three rooms. If you really really are lucky, then it can happen. And trust me, I've had it happen. Yeah, where I've got lucky with it, and it, it legit took me like maybe like three minutes to get to the boss. It was so easy.
Yeah, that's how lucky I got with that. In fact, I think I got it on camera. I think it was uh, my first video of actually being in there. Yeah, I think I got it on camera. Which is pretty neat. Yeah, me getting a really lucky run. It legit took me like three to four minutes just to get to that boss. It did not take me long at all. This takes you like, at minimum, ten minutes. Just to get to like, way 20. We're at 11 right now, so we just passed the uh, halfway mark. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, is it this wave? Oh, oh, hi. Try to flank me now, did you? easy barely I was lucky Nice. Okay, gather all these guys up. Fire. By the way, I haven't logged on this game uh, since like the last episode of this. It's been a while since I've logged on. Well, because there's nothing, to, there's nothing going on right now. Like no new events or anything like that. This was updated like I think eight days ago, somewhere around there, which was about the same time as uh, my last episode of this. Yeah, about the same time. It was updated in like, like almost the end of March. That was the last time it was updated. It was like twenty something. Twenty. Uh, 28th or something like that. I, I forgot the the date, but it was uh, it was recent. This way was a joke. All you gotta do is just camp this this part of the map. And because these guys are slow as molasses, all you gotta do is just camp this spawn. There's nothing they can do. They can't move out of that area. Alright, well there goes that thing. And then there's one more that's gonna spawn, it's probably like over here. There he goes.
Oh boy. Alright, there we go. Try to get a chest plate. I think I have like a couple of those right now. Actually, I think I have like the full set. <sighs> My goodness. Okay. I need more sword points so I can upgrade my grip, my handle or whatever. Well, then once I upgrade that thing, I should be just completely unstoppable because then I'm a th then I have a fully upgraded uh, sword. Yeah, I have the best hex sword that you can get. Because right now I have the tier four handle, I, th I think. It's it's air below uh, the hex one. A nice juggling me there. Oh my gosh! Just hit the the frog, please. Thank you. Stupid thing. I barely keep my eyes open. <laughs> I really am getting tired. To be honest, uh, the game Poke Emblem is so gosh darn addicting now. I remember when that game was on like an indefinite hiatus? Like, that game was on hiatus for, like, four months. Like, it's it was a completely dead playthrough, and then, like, look at me just uploading it, like, almost daily. Game is awesome. It was the same thing with Pokemon Glazed. I did it almost daily. I don't do it almost daily anymore. I do it frequently, but I don't do it daily. Because, remember, I have, like, a ton of playthroughs that I do. Yeah, my channel isn't locked to just one single game. I have multiple games that I play. I play whatever I can find, pretty much. Like, any genre of game. I even play scary games on the channel, for goodness sake. I think I still... Yeah, the only scary game I've recorded is uh, Amnesia. Amnesia Dark Descent. That's the only one I've done. Maybe I'll record more. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to download a couple though from like Steam. See if there's any good scary games I can get. Maybe Slender. I don't know. I've heard that was a that was a well that was a really popular game uh, back in the day. It was like back in like 2013, 2013, 2014. Back when it came out, it was so good. Any like creepypasta game, they're they're usually pretty decent. But yeah. Feel free to recommend me uh, games to play, so especially on Roblox. I'm always open to play different games on my on my YouTube channel. So, 
And I always want to play uh, different Roblox games because, like, right now I only play, like, a, a couple. And when I mean a couple, I mean, like, right now, like, one, which is this game. I don't play a, a lot of Roblox games anymore. It's mostly just this one, and I just log on for, like, a, a few minutes. And then that's me with, with Roblox right there. Usually I'm playing either Geometry Dash or I'm playing, uh... Uh, Europa Universalis. So. Or I'm playing any emulator game because I need a grind or something. You know me with my off screen grinding. Maybe even bring, uh, bring Snakewood back tomorrow. Maybe. I, I gotta get back to where I was, though. But the good thing is I have a really powerful speed up on that emulator. So I should be able to uh, get back pretty pretty quickly. Then I, I should be getting better luck with the... With the... Uh, what's... Uh, my Giga Wolf or the Puccino or whatever. Can you hit the bunny, please? Thank you. Yeah, I should be getting better luck with the uh, Puccino this time. I timed it wrong. Uh, Alright, come on, guy. Move. Thank you. Oops. Oh my go. Move. Thank you. I missed that fireball. Oh. I got this. I was stuck in one of my animations there. Come on, dude, move. Thank you. Poisonous blade. I, I think that's a an actual sword I can use. So that's cool. I can quickly check uh, check that one. I also leveled up. So that's, uh, that's always good. So let me go ahead and check that sword really quick. And then we'll end it off. This guy's name is, uh, awesome by the way. Final Form Cooler. Oh yeah. That's a Dragon Ball Z reference. Okay. So where are you? Um, poisonous blade. Is that it? Yeah, poisonous blade. So this was that. Um, kind of weird. What does it give me? Uh, not really a whole lot, at least compared to the sword I'm using. Yeah, see that. See this, the one I'm using is better. With dark uh, tentacle. Jinx is also really good, but dark tentacle is just borderline overpowered. Okay, I'm going to end off the uh, video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with like a couple videos. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> and that was pretty enjoyable.
Easy dungeon, my goodness. Yeah, me just rambling on in there. Well, because although it's easy dungeon, it's boring. <laughs> so yeah. Well, it's because I was playing on different things. Yeah, maybe I should bump it up. We'll see. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.